in this book television book from the 1950s uh, Philips laboratory the first um, people that worked on the analog television in the Netherlands Kerkhoff and Werner and in that book there are a lot of circuits about um, relaxation oscillators and this is the one of the most important uh, relaxation oscillators it's the a stable multivibrator it's made here with tubes but uh, the principle can of course also be realized with uh, transistors so I want to draw the schematic tell something about it um, we make the circuit with transistors we make it with NPN transistors that means that we have here a positive lead say between 2 volt and 18 volt for practical purposes you can get higher you can go to 30 volts doesn't matter that depends of course on the transistors that you use the uh, collector emitter voltage of the transistors that you use must be enough and of course also the collector base voltage here is the negative line we mount our transistor here that's the first one the other transistor here both are NPN transistors and um, of course the circuit needs a collector resistor and the transistor needs a kind of working point so we have to supply the base with a positive voltage and for practical reasons for simple circuits in for transistor circuits in this range this is more or less always 1k here also 1k and here we use 100k 100,000 ohms and now the the trick or what makes the circuit work happens we connect a capacitor sorry capacitor from the collector this is the amplify a point where it is amplified a signal is amplified the emitter is on ground so here is cannot be any voltage to send a signal back collector to the input of the second transistor and from the collector of that second transistor a capacitor to the base of the first transistor say we use here PC547 also here PC547 has a half a plus approximately 300 that's necessary needs some amplification and let's say we name take here a capacitor of 1.0 microfarad also here and uh, the thing that's the, the interesting thing of this circuit it starts to oscillate and it creates a waveform because the energy of this amp this transistor amplify send its amplified energy back here uh, this transistor also amplifies and send its energy back here and here here there are resistors that give that transistor its working point but they are also make the circuit uh, oscillate on a certain frequency that frequency is set by the value of this resistor that resistor that cap and also that cap I don't publish the formulas they are not so very interesting this is a circuit that always works and it is very popular when you uh, study my YouTube videos approximately 700 there are many circuits where I have used this uh, this uh, a stable stable multivibrator um, the frequency depends on these resistors this one this one etc and also on the capacitor value 
I've made, I've chosen by purpose a 100 nanofarad capacitor because that always works. And um, the circuit will in this situation oscillate approximately on say between 50 and 100 hertz. 50 hertz to 100 hertz. That also tells us that when we change the value of the capacitor, say we go a factor 10 higher, then we have smaller, I mean, then we have uh, 10 nanofarads, and also here 10 nanofarads, there will be a much higher frequency. And that's interesting. So you can do experiments. For a first experiment, good values are 100 nanofarads for both capacitors, or 50 nanofarads, or 4.7 nanofarad. When you go to 1 nanofarad, 1000 picofarad, the frequency uh, is so high that uh, perhaps it's, it doesn't oscillate any longer. I see that it falls out of range, 100 nanofarad, 50 nanofarad, 4.7 nanofarad. Good values to do a first experiment. There's an interesting thing about this circuit, and that is when this resistor is, has, doesn't have the right value, the circuit doesn't want to start. Thus, this is an important resistor to make the circuit start, and the other strange effect is that when you tip the voltage here, you suddenly connect the voltage, it will oscillate, but sometimes, in certain cases, you have to take that in account, when you slowly add the voltage between, say, 0 and 18 volt, it doesn't want to start, sometimes. The solution for that problem is here, raise the value of this resistor. Um, well, this gives out a signal. You can take that signal out via capacitor. Say it's also 100 nanofarad, and here we have that square wave. Um, what can you do with such a circuit? Uh, many things. At first, for instance, you can change the uh, second transistor into a Darlington. So, this part of the circuit, everything stays the same. Everything stays the same, but you can change it into a Darlington. And that means that here we have the base in, in such a situation, and here we have the emitter, and here the collector. You can compare this to a transistor with an extreme high amplification. And the good thing of it is that you can use smaller capacitors because of the enormous amplification. Say it's 300 multiplied by 300. Uh, then you, uh, due to the enormous amplification, you can get to higher frequencies. And you can also change this transistor into a Darlington. And, uh, and in fact do the same. So this is the base, collector, emitter. Base, collector, emitter. Now we have the same situation, Darlington. The good thing from such a Darlington is that you can take here a power transistor. Say a 2N3055. Or a BD139, that's a medium power transistor anyway. That doesn't matter. And the good thing from it is that I have to shift it a little bit. Okay, BD2 uh, and 5 or a BD139, and the good thing is that now you have a A stable multi vibrator that's able to drive a powerful load, say a transformer. For instance, this way, transformer to the positive, and this goes to ground. And, um, that means that, that it is a self-oscillating circuit with a power transistor and a transformer here. And it oscillates on a certain frequency, of course. 
and um, say we have here 20 windings and here 500 windings the ratio is uh, uh, 20 uh, 25 approximately so when we have here 12 volt here we have 12 volt multiplied by 25 so you have made in that case a high voltage generator and um, you can use for such an experiment for instance such a transformer high a real high voltage transformer or a wall transformer or even such a transformer and all these transformers uh, are not suitable for all frequencies of course these transformers have a high metal core heavy metal core laminated and that means that they are usable for lower frequencies say between 100 Hertz and say 800 Hertz on that frequency they uh, produce their best output this transformer on the, on the, on the contrary is made for 16,000 Hertz 16 kilohertz that also means that you have to do experiments with these capacitors and with the resistors to get the circuit to the frequency where the transformer performs at its best that's important by the way here is that circuit a stable multivibrator made with two BC547 transistors oscillating on 100 Hertz so I hope that I can find my uh, piece of gum because I wanted to show other things one moment please uh, no I can't find it sorry for that um, what I wanted to tell is this have to here we have again that a stable a stable multivibrator throw it again I have to be do this video within a quarter of an hour that's the reason why I am so quick now try to uh, try to draw the whole circuit quick here we have again the output uh, positive negative no. I've told more this 100k this 100k 1k 1k 12 volt you can also use this to drive a uh, high voltage transistor so for instance you have here a powerful high voltage transistor and let's say we use again a coil and this is connected to the so for instance in Europe these are the BU types and um, here is a voltage also a coil again that coil that I've showed you and this could is it could be a very successful circuit um, because this high voltage transistor can endure especially the high voltages between the, the collector and the base it was made for that it can handle a few hundred volts of course you have to search that in the data sheet use here again for instance such a high voltage transformer and drive that transistor on its base with the square wave signal so um, the high voltage transformer and you can for, in, for instance use here 80 volts and here you use 12 volt all opposite to ground good uh, quality coupling capacitor say 300 volt type 
and do some experiments with the value. Say it's between 10 nanofarad and 100 nanofarad. And uh, the trick of it all is uh, this will surely work. It will give out a much higher voltage. Uh, that depends, of course. You can also do this with 12 volt, doesn't matter much. High voltage out. You can rectify it, etc. etc. Um, and of course, it is, is important to give that transistor sometimes a working point. And um, that means that it must be, you must add here a small positive voltage to set the transistor to its working point. Uh, that's also possible to do it in another way. We take here the 12 volts, of course make no shortcuts, 12 volt. So this is the plus 12 volt. Um, it is the negative of 12 volt. We use here a 500k potentiometer. We don't want to give the transistor a too high base current. It could be defective very quickly. And this goes from positive to the uh, to the node to the node. I hope it's visible now. I have to constantly look on my camera whether I'm in the range of this piece of paper. Anyway, and connect this uh, wiper here to the the base of the transistor. Now you can set the transistor to a certain working point and of course measure the high voltage output, measure how the thing works, connect your scope here between this sorry between this location and ground and you can see sorry between this location and ground you will also see here something with the scope but anyway scope um, between this and ground and set that working point of the transistor and you can see uh, you suddenly will see a high voltage out another issue is that when you when this transformer has a certain resonance frequency, the energy is much more uh, swirled up to to a very high AC voltage. This sorry, this uh, transformer, for instance, has a resonance frequency of 16 kilohertz. So when you are able to um, to um, get this circuit into 16 kilohertz. And this is a high voltage transformer. This transformer will get into oscillation and the output voltage will be swirled up, whirled up, don't know the right word, much more when it is in oscillation. So you can get much more high voltage out. That's important. So that's another.